Hi guys, I'm Scotticus here, changing oil on my 2018 Chevy Colorado 3.6 LGZ engine, and we're at the stage where we're ready to drain the oil. Now, a couple things I've done. I have jacked up the left side to make it a little easier access for me. I could do this from the right side, but I have to block the right side with uh, cardboard paper because the wind is blowing right now. So I'm going to do it from this side. Plus it works out pretty well because what I really need to do is I need to be able to reach under from behind and, and pull away out of the oil flow real quick while it drains into the pan. Now whatever, now anyone who's done this could tell you oil shoots out, straight out, zoom like that, okay? So what you want is you want a big pan like this, okay? Big, big pan, covers a lot of area and get it as high get it as high as you can to to your to your drain okay um i've got it on a a little um small furniture dolly okay it seems to be just about perfect okay okay i've already broken the drain plug okay so that i can get it off by hand and that's 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 what you want if if you can't get it off by hand uh, there's something wrong okay so we're gonna we're gonna do this la 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 and actually what i'm gonna do may surprise you but i'm gonna eh, i'll capture it i would spin it off and just let it drop okay uh and fish it out but i'm not gonna do that okay i'm just gonna take the the, the plug off and, and drop it onto my 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 paper here clean off my old stained hand uh, check and make sure that this is draining into the pan and not all over the place and then position it okay yeah yeah position it back so that it's gonna start to drip now straight down pull this back a little so it it captures everything all right and, and that is and that is where we're gonna where we're gonna pause this hopefully I'll be able to restart it okay okay guys we're back we've drained our oil we've we have not drained it for three hours uh, you don't have to do that just drain it until it it you get to the drip stage okay when you're at the drip then you're good okay uh, now I've already th th hand threaded it in and uh, uh, turned it until it's until it stopped okay it just it just stopped now here's here's the most important thing of this whole deal if you, if you get nothing else out of this um, this message has been brought to you by the National Institute of how not to screw up your drain pan okay we're gonna tighten it until it stops okay and then we're gonna give it a fist bump okay ready right here we go boom all right that's it man you you shouldn't have to do anything else to a drain plug it's got a rubber seal on it which you should inspect by the way and that seal will hold it okay aluminum pan it will strip out real easily if you go wrenching on it all right and that's all we're going to do for the draining next is filling next is filling pause Oh, and by the way, while we're down here, I'll take a minute to show off my drain plug on my transmission pan. Uh, this is the transmission uh, part number. Can you see that? It's the same one that goes on a uh, the same one that goes on a, um, uh, a, um, a Camaro. I had to order it uh, from the Camaro. Had to order this pan from a, from the Camaro parts. Because they weren't selling it for the Colorado transmission, and I had a welder and.